Welcome back. I'm Lisa K. Bob today. I'm here and I'm doing a movie review. <laughs> oh man, I always wanted to do that. Uh, yeah, I'm doing a movie review, and uh, we haven't told it to tell or something else. Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. I saw that uh, yesterday, and I gotta say, not disappointed with it. Not disappointed at all. Basically, what I'm gonna do for this is not. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna talk about spoilers after a certain amount of time. And I'll tell you when, but first I'm going to talk about it just in general. No spoilers, if you want to see it, you can watch this part of the video, then when I say there's going to be spoilers, don't watch it then until after you've seen the movie, or go to another reviewer, because they're probably doing it better than me, because I'm not a professional reviewer. <laughs> so, um, where can I start off with this, without giving spoilers? Um, um... I could talk about how I felt leaving the movie theater. Um, it was the same as the first one. I felt happy. You know, that's usually a good sign. Um, the quality of the movie is, like, in the middle. It's both good and bad, alright? It's good because it's not... The storyline is good. The acting is fine or whatever. You know, the, the special effects are fine. They're good. The bad part is that some of the acting... I said most of the acting is good, but some of the acting is kind of bad, you know, you can hear they're not, like, it's not enthusiastic enough, like, you hear Chris Pat say, run, <laughs> it wasn't even, like, like, they see dinosaur and it's like, run, it wasn't even, like, scared, like, it wasn't even, like, there's no feeling to that word, it's just, you, you'll see when you movie, it just kind of takes that a little bit, but other than that, it's fine, it's just, it's a safe movie, there's no blood in the movie, which is really weird. Now that I think about it, um, it's really weird. There's no blood because usually in like the films they love to have blood, but when they kill people, there's no blood. I mean, there's a little bit of blood, but not like splattered blood. You know, and you don't see any ripped arms with blood on it. No, no, it's really safe. I don't know why. Um, the movie, sh like you don't even have to see the movie. Like the trailers show a lot of the movie. Just like, you know, like, you see a lot of trailers and combine them. That's basically the movie. You've seen the movies with the trailers, so, I mean, you're not really surprised, but, with anything. Um, I really enjoyed it, like, with the first one, but I liked the first one more than this one. Mostly because in the first one, in Jurassic World, you're more indulged into, like, this park of dinosaurs, and, like, you see everything. And you're kind of in that park as well. But in this one, you're kind of... You're not, it's like you're just watching uh, a survivor based movie. Which turns into something else, which I'll go into, which I'll talk about in the spoiler territory thing. So, it's basically like a survival thing, where you know, in the, because the trailer shows that the island's exploding, which it does. Island is exploding, you know, they're saving, you know, the dinosaurs. And it's like, it's kind of a survival movie where you're not really in a park anymore, you're more in like this environmentalist group. Which, I don't particularly like to, to watch, but for this movie, it was like an exception. Because all these millennials that are portrayed in the movie are kind of doing the right thing. When it comes to saving dinosaurs' lives, I guess. So, <laughs> movie and all is fun. You're gonna have a good, you're gonna have a good time. So it is a horror film. You know, like all the other films, there are scary moments, they don't jump scares. I, only, I jumped down my feet once. You know, because just out of randomness. You know, there are people talking, it's like, BAM! And you know, you're like, oh, I didn't expect that. I mean, other things you expect, to everything builds up. They use that kind of jump noise a lot. Which I don't even know if I can sh show you, because I don't even know if it exists on YouTube. But it's just like, they keep using that same noise, like the jump scare noise, over and over again. And it'll get you every time, because you don't know what's going to happen. Unless you can move the... If you're watching the first time, you don't know what's going to happen. It's telling you there are scary things, and there's more than the first one. I believe in the first one, there's like one jump scare moment. There are a lot more scary moments in this film, especially in the second part of the movie, which we're not going to say much. Like in the spoilers. So, 
all in all, go watch the movie. It's it's both good and bad. You know, it's a mixture of that. It's just, it's like it's like a you know, safe line. You know, it's a safe line. All right, it's that safe middle neutral line you can watch because there's nothing bad in it. There's nothing good in it. It's just straight middle line. You're gonna have fun watching it. You're gonna have a good time. You know, you want a movie, you want to see dinosaurs, that's what you pay to see, you're going to see dinosaurs, alright? So, yeah. Good for you. Now it's time for me to, uh, talk about the spoilers. SPOILER ALERT! SPOILER ALERT! SPOILER ALERT! The first spoiler I want to talk about is the way the movie is set up. So the movie is set up where, you know, it's about the island exploding, but the second part of it turns into something else, which I kind of like. I don't, know why people, I don't know why people hate this, but I kind of like it because it turns into a horror movie in a mansion where you have this new uh hybrid the the indom indom raptor which is basically like a raptor except it's more dangerous and it follows the command of a target laser and noise which will then go into attack mode and kill anything that target laser is on which is cool but this thing is it's a prototype dinosaur which meaning that it's not supposed to be bought but People buy it, and it's like you can't buy a prototype dinosaur. They have to think why they clearly say Henry Wu, the post the post villain of this film, is saying you can't buy a dinosaur with a prototype. And <laughs> they, these greedy mother truckers decide, yeah, let me just buy this thing for like twenty million. The people are like, oh yeah, let's buy this prototype dinosaur that's not even like made like fully developed yet. They just made it as like a test thing. It's like, would you buy like a car that like like you drive a car and like it has glitches in it, like bugs, you know, it doesn't have airbags in it or whatever, like, you know, it's not fully developed, would you buy a car then? That's basically what it is with the Indoraptor. It's not a developed dinosaur yet, yet people are buying this. It's very dangerous, and it is, because it eventually gets out of the cage, you know, because it's smart, and understands what it's doing. It's, like, so much more than a raptor. It's not what it's doing. It kills everything in sight. It kills a lot of the business people in the building, and it's just very horror film because it doesn't you're in, the, in this mansion which is where the whole operation is coming in and <laughs> it's such it's fun to watch because I like it again I don't know why people hate the fact that it turns into a horror film thing in the mansion I don't understand that why people hate it like that I guess because they don't want it gets changed into a different movie but it's kind of what makes this interesting for me to watch is two movies in one which I love seeing multiple things in one. That's what I love seeing in movies. That's just my opinion. A lot of people probably disagree with that. <laughs> That's fine. You have your opinion, I have my opinion. Second thing I want to go over is the little girl that's in the movie. Now, I don't know her name. I don't want to know her name. She was born in the first two acts. She was snobber. She's like looking at all this kind of stuff, you know. She's only interesting in the third act of the movie. That's all I got to say about that. I didn't like her in the first two acts. Not at all. In the third act... She was pretty good. Pretty badass, you know, she's kind of a, you know, sneaking around the mansion with that, you know, raptor. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. Why do I say, why, I can sing something named correctly, but when I actually say it out loud, it sounds really weird. Indoraptor, okay, there it is. <laughs> it's called the Indoraptor. And, uh, what else was? Like, apparently the girl's like, uh, the girl's like, um, a, a hybrid herself, she's like a clone, which is really weird, because I guess they're now cloning people, which is, uh, I kind of like it, I never really saw it as a bad thing, I mean, it's kind of a cool thing, actually, you can clone people, it went from, basically, all these films take place in, like, the year they were made, so Jurassic World took place in 2015, Jurassic, this film takes place in 2018, the original took place in, like, 1990, whenever the film was released, I forget, you know, like, Jurassic World 3, Jurassic Park 3, and takes place in 2001, you know, all these things take place in years, and you get to see it evolve into them making hybrid dinosaurs now, like the Indominus Rex and Indoraptor, now they're actually making clones of people, you know, because this grandfather guy lost his daughter to, like, a car crash, and then he, like, he wanted to clone his daughter, and he's like, oh, hey, look, you exactly like your mother, well, of course you do, because you're a clone of her, so, you're gonna turn out like her, exactly, he has a different personality, because he's born in a different era, so, pretty cool, pretty weird. I believe other films have, uh, done that similar thing as well, where they basically make clones. I mean, a lot of movies have. I mean, I don't even know if it's even copying different movies to set. It's just kind of set it in the blue. No pun intended when I said blue, you know? 
but it came, I guess, came out, and I was like, oh, yeah, it's actually a big spoiler, wow. Um, like, speaking of Blue, Blue is actually a badass in this movie. Rather than the T-Rex, which I think her name is Rexy, who dominated the first film, killing the Domin or fighting Domus Rex, Blue kind of takes on the Indoraptor, very cool. You know, Blue kind of got shot by this person who, you know, shot her out of, like, fear, I guess, because he was being mauled to death. Yet, Krivos, Chris Patton, uh, the, the, the hunter guy, like, don't shoot her with a real bullet, but he didn't listen to either of them. Even your commander, who's telling you don't shoot him, shoot her, don't shoot her, yet, your commander doesn't mean anything to you, I guess. He just shot her. You know, everyone's mad at him. Luckily, he's dead, I guess. <laughs> But basically, for like a whole half of the movie, she's just like in like in a hospital bed or whatever, just having like surgery done, which leads to like all this kind of ridiculousness, which I like to save this raptor because she's the only one left. Even though there's another island full of raptors, I guess they don't care about the other island that's kind of in that was in the second or third Jurassic Park film. They don't. It's just like no one cares about that. I think they did mention it in the film like once, but she's the only like you know, original raptor on that island left. You know, cause all of them died to humans, because in the first film. But, she's very valuable. So, she finally gets healed or whatever, like she's still alive, and she just badassly kills this Indoraptor. You know, kind of like grand slams the Indoraptor into like, Triceratops spikes, which is pretty cool. You know, you have the Adonis Rex getting killed by a Mosasaurus. Now you have the Indoraptor getting killed by Triceratops horns, like a skeleton of it. And Blue's just on top of her, just, you know, doing a victory pose. <laughs> also, what this film does at the end, I should probably talk about that. All the dinosaurs are released into our main island, North America. How do I feel about that? I like that, because it actually sets up for us a third movie. Which I'm pretty sure they're doing, which basically, dinosaurs in the real world. It happened in Lost World, but that was different because it was a mama T-Rex trying to find her baby when they used the baby to get her back in the boat, which led her back to the island. It was different because there's actually multiple dinosaurs, not just like land dinosaurs, there's also flying dinosaurs. The Mosasaurus that was in the first Jurassic World was in the oceans, like real oceans. I want to see in the third film, a Mosasaurus take on a, a whale, because a whale is the biggest fish. I want to see like in comparison to the Biggest mammal on Earth, the whale. I want to see the size of the whale to a Mosasaurus. How would that work? Like, it's a size comparison. So, all these dinosaurs are out in the real world, and it's like, how is it going to play out? Because, life finds a way. Life does find a way. As Jeff Goldblum says, life finds a way. Which, he was only in the film for two scenes. He was there from the very start and the very end. Nope, not joking around. He was there from the very start. And he popped up again at the very end of the movie. Whoops, I gave you a little finger. Um, so at the beginning, then the end, there you go. That was all, I'm fine, I expected that, because what, what are you going to do with a, with a returning character from the, like, the original trilogy? What are you going to do? I'm glad they didn't overuse him. Because that's just like not, probably going to be in the third film, maybe more, I don't know. Jeff Bloop, Jeff Goldblum's going to be pissed. <laughs> the dinosaurs are in the real world. He's like, I told you, I told you people. Dinosaurs are going to kill us. They're the new rulers now. You didn't listen to me, bitches. Now, it's, now what's happening now? Dinosaurs are out in the real world. You know, most source is in our waters. Surfers can't be safe anymore. They're gonna be eaten by most source. Screw Jaws. This is a bigger threat. Oh, T Rex is over there trying to kill a lion. Having a roaring cost. Look at that. That's not supposed to happen. We live in the era of craziness. You know, my, 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 I was right. I, uh, I was right. Uh, life, uh, finds uh, a way. <laughs> God, I love doing the Jeff Goldblum impression because it's just so fun to do. Everyone has fun doing it. I want to do the Jeff Goldblum impression. Just say uh, um and ah in uh, your senses because um that gives you uh, that uh, impersonation of uh, smartness because you're you're thinking about uh, everything that you're um uh, saying. You know, uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> I really don't want to say anything else about this movie, because I'm not going to, that's all I was going to say, that's what I really took away from this movie, I'm not going to say anything else unless you in the comments say something about the movie, then I'm like, oh yeah, I can talk about that, but I'm going to end it here, this is my review of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, it's a pretty fun film, I'll wrap it up, um, 
I liked the film. I liked it more. I liked it a little bit less than the original. You know, Jurassic World than Fallen Kingdom. As the Jurassic World, Jurassic World film, the Jurassic Parks, and adding a million all in is, you know, a whole different level. But, <laughs> um, let me, see, let me do, like, a list of, like, my top favorite films, Jurassic Park films. And then comment down below if you want me to do that. But I could do that. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, why don't you like, subscribe, and share with your friends. I'm going to see you up, and I'll see you later, everyone. Goodbye.